Hey everyone, this is Dhruveen and in this session we are going to talk about one of the interesting topic in Power BI which is Anomaly Detection. This new feature has been introduced in Ignite 2020 updates. Now this has been available as a preview in latest November 2020 update of Power BI Desktop. So without wasting much time, let's get started. During this entire session, we are going to talk about each individual thing in detail about anomaly detection. We will be talking about what is anomaly detection, how it is useful into real life business scenario and how we can implement anomaly detection with our line charts for our time series data. We will be covering everything in detail throughout this entire session. So stay tuned till end. Also one important thing, I am going to provide this Power BI file on my GitHub account so you can directly download this file from there and practice more about anomaly detection over there. So now let's get started. First of all, this anomaly detection feature is something which is available as a preview. So first of all, make sure you need to enable preview feature from your Power BI desktop. One more thing to remember, make sure you have updated your Power BI desktop with the latest version of November 2020. Go to the file, go to options and setting and click on options. Go to the preview features and here you will be finding an option anomaly detection. Make sure that you have enabled this feature. Once you enable, just click on OK. Restart your Power BI desktop by closing and reopening it again. Now first of all let me talk about what is anomaly detection and how it is useful to our end to end business. In simple word I can say that anomaly means oddity in data. Meaning, let's say for an example, here I am adding one line chart which shows the information about order date by its profit. So that will represent the profit for each individual order date. So let's say for an example, I just added order date on the axis and I am just adding profit in the value section. So I will be having a graph like this. Now anomaly means it will identify the oddity in the consistent data available over here into this particular graph. So anomaly detection is something which helps us to enhance our line charts by automatically detecting anomalies in our time series data. It also provides the explanation for the anomalies to help with root cause analysis. Now let's say for an example in from this particular graph I just wanted to identify the oddity of data meaning I want to identify the anomalies from this particular time series data. So how can I do that? If I do that thing manually that will take lots of time. With the help of anomaly detection we can identify the anomalies from the data with just a couple of clicks. We don't need to slice and dice our data to identify the anomalies from our graph. So now let's see how we can implement anomaly detection for a line chart. So let's say we have prepared this particular graph. Now just select your visualization. Now just go to analytics section from here and now you will be finding an option find anomalies. If you are not able to see this option meaning that you haven't updated your Power BI desktop with the latest version of November 2020 or you have not enabled the preview feature. Now just go to the analytics section. Here you will be finding an option find anomalies. Just expand this option. Now you need to click on add button. So that will add this particular anomalies over here. By default 70% sensitivity has been added here. Now what do we mean by sensitivity? Let me explain you that thing. Let's say for an example if we increase the sensitivity what happens? Let's see. I increase my sensitivity up to 93% and I am just clicking on apply. Now you can see that there are more data points that has been detected. Meaning in this case even a slight deviation is marked as an anomaly. Now let's say if I am decreasing the sensitivity what happens? You can see that number of anomalies that has been detected in the graph are less. Meaning the algorithm is more selective on what it consider an anomaly. Now let's set our sensitivity around 72%. Now here we need to set some other properties as well. 
I will explain you that thing later on this session. Now let me explain you the detected anomalies from our data. Let's say for an example, I am clicking on this data point. Now whenever I am hover over it, you can see that it is showing me expected minimum value and expected maximum value over here as well as it is showing the expected value over here. Now at this moment this point has been detected as an anomaly. So let me just click on that. So that will open this type of section for us. It will open anomaly section for us and now it will provide you the natural language guidance over here. So it is written uh, so it has mentioned here the description. Profit was unexpectedly high on Sunday October 2, 2016. It had a value 8738 which is above the expected range 66.35 to 129.97. So basically the expected range should be this one but the point is something which is 8738 which is too high meaning the, there is an oddity in our data meaning there is an anomaly in the data so it is showing that particular thing now why that anomalies has been occurred it is showing some possible explanation over here so this anomaly has been occurred because region is central there is a possibility of 51 percent so once you expand that it will show you more information profit for region central was usually high which may have lifted the profit total. So basically uh, there is a possibility 51% of strength that for central region due to central region this anomaly in the data has been occurred. Now let's say if you want to add this thing to your graph you can just click on add to report. So that will add that comparison graph as well in your Power BI report. So isn't that amazing? Now it is showing some another things as well like sheep mode is standard class so whenever we expand that it will show this information profit for sheep mode standard class was usually high which may have lifted the profit total so it is self-explanatory it is written in the natural language so anyone can understand this thing very easily and if we want to add the same thing to the graph we just need to click on add to report so this is how we can easily understand why the anomaly has been occurred into our data what are the reason behind it and if we want to add any specific reason to our graph we can easily add that so this is a very cool ai feature now let's say for an example i am selecting any below point from here let's say i am selecting this one so it is showing me here the reason Profit was unexpectedly low on Tuesday, December 15, 2015. It had a value of minus 1524.49, which is below the expected range 46.82 to 98.50. And the possible reason behind this anomaly is subcategory is machine. So it will show that particular graph as well to you, meaning its profit versus profit for machines. So isn't that amazing? Now let me talk about some other properties for anomaly detection. So let me go again to the analytics section from here. Now we have a second property explained by. So let's say for an example when we clicked on to this data point it is showing me possible explanation over here to me. So by default it is randomly selecting any properties from my data and show the possibilities over there. Now let's say I just want to limit this particular thing in, our, in my graph. So how can I do that? Let's say I want to, I want my explanation only based on two fields, category and shape mode. So I just need to drag this to property and click on apply. Now what happened here is it will go with me the explanation only based on those two properties. So this is the explain by property. So uh, let me just clear out this thing because I wanted to have the explanation from all the properties. But if you are very clear about your fields, then you can easily add that thing into explain by property. Then there is a property anomaly shape. So let's say for an example, you can change the different anomaly shape from here. So this is the shape. 
I just changed that to triangle so it is showing the anomaly shape anomaly shape size you can change from here and same way anomaly color you can change it from here so let's say we are changing the anomaly color so it will change this particular color from here now let's say expected range style now what do we mean by that thing let me explain you that thing in detail let me just add one more thing here so i can show you that property in a better manner let me just enable the zoom slider so i can just zoom in the slider axis so we can understand this property in a better manner i'm just enabling this zoom slider now let's say for an example let me go here and let me explain you about this thing in detail this is expected range style so you can see that here i have blue line and here you can see that gray out section over here right so this is something which is showing me the expected range style so basically what should be the expected range for a particular data point that has been represented by this thing now let's say i'm changing it to line so what it will do is it will show us this type of line with minimum and maximum value of range you can see this particular thing uh, i know uh, it is difficult to see on your screen but please try to uh, see it when you download this particular file let me just decrease the transparency so you will be getting better idea you can see this type of black lines over here so that has been expected range style let me just change its color like this so you will be getting better idea you can see that that color has been changed here right now let's say for an example if you do not want to see the expected range just click on none so it will just remove those ranges from here but now i would prefer to have fill so you will be getting a idea like what is the expected range over that so these are the different properties for the anomaly detection now for this particular anomaly detection we need to consider two things in our mind first is that we cannot use forecast and anomalies feature together for the same line chart so either you can use anomaly detection or you can use forecast you can't use both the things together in the same chart second important thing when you publish this report into your power bi service you will be able to see this anomaly section available into the power bi service account but if you try to open the same report in your mobile devices at this moment when i am recording this particular video this feature is not supported for mobile thing so make sure that your clients are using this feature from the power bi service at this moment but hopefully microsoft will roll out this feature very soon for mobile devices as well so i think i covered everything for this anomaly detection so in short i can say that if we want to find any oddity from our data we can easily find with the help of anomaly detection using this beautiful feature that has been rolled out in november 2020 if you have any question related to this anomaly detection you can add your questions in the comment section or if you have a request for any other videos related power platform or power bi you can add your comments in the comment section i will try to make a new videos based on your request whenever i will get a chance if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter podcast and if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number if you wish to listen different podcast from my power platform channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this particular page where you can listen your different power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like apple podcast google podcast spotify and lots of more this is thruvin signing off have a great day goodbye